hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well staying safe i hope you had a lovely easter today's video you guys we are gonna get into what i purchased from sephora their sales event has already started if you don't know it has started already for rouge members i'll give you some details a little bit later but before we get into any of that you know the drill let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you might be interested so Starting with my face today, you guys. I didn't change anything with my foundations. I used the last little bit of my House Labs foundation in the shade 330 Medium Cool. You've seen it here a ton. Um, I actually have another one to show you in my Sephora bag, so you'll see it. But I have that on today, the last little bit of the bottle that I had. And then on my eyes today, you guys, I'm wearing this one and done shadow by Dior. And this one is in the shade Lucky Clover. And it's just one of their single eyeshadows. It's my favorite color, that beautiful green. Again, this is Lucky Clover from Dior. So I have this all over my lid. And then in my inner tear duct area, I have a highlighter from Rare Beauty. And it's in Exolerate, which again is one of my favorite. There's what that looks like right there. So I have that in my inner tear duct. And then for mascara, again, no surprise, I'm wearing my Fenty Mascara here in Hella Thick. It has been my favorite. And as for my liner here today, I am wearing one by Tom Ford. It's this beautiful green in metallic moss. That's what it looks like right there. So I line my waterline with this shade here. And then as for the rest of my face right here on my cheeks and a little bit above my eyeshadow to blend it out, I use this new limited edition Dior Forever Natural Bronze Glow. Here's what it looks like right here. So I have this on today. I am obsessed with this color. Y'all, it is such a cute blush. I will be using it as blush and not bronzer. It's something about this coral shade here that's mixed in it. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So again, that's what's on my cheeks today. And then to highlight it, another one from Dior. It's the new Forever Glow Maximizers, and I have mine in the shade Peachy. It looks like this, you guys. There's the back of it. And another one I love. It has like a little applicator. So there is the applicator on it, you guys, and all you need is like two dots and you're good you can get away with one dot so yeah I have this highlight my cheeks today a little on my nose so that is what I'm using as a face highlight and then as for my lips today another new one this is by Chanel this is from their latest collection and this is the Rouge Allure Velvet in seven o'clock which is this gorgeous pink and here is the shade that I'm wearing today in 7 o'clock. I have this shade on very light with my Morphe liner. But you can like build it up if you wanted to. But it's just this gorgeous, nice, velvety pink. I didn't even put any gloss on top of it. Again, I have my Morphe liner lining it in sweet tea. You know that's my favorite, you guys. So that completes my makeup look for today. And then as for my fragrance today, I have on one from Louis Vuitton that I absolutely love. It's in the Dancing Blossom. 
this is absolutely one of my favorites one of my go-to's you guys it's such a beautiful floral scent I'll put the notes on the screen for you guys but yeah that is the fragrance I'm wearing today and I absolutely love this one as for my earrings today I am wearing my F is Fendi hoop earrings in the rose gold then as for my necklace today I just have this necklace pendant on from Nordstrom's and I have them in all three tones this one is the rose gold I have it in gold and silver and I'll be sure to link all these things that I can find for you guys down below my blouse today is this really thin floral chiffon like blouse from the loft that I've gotten years ago. I don't know if they still carry it, probably not. But yeah, that's my blouse for today. And then on my wrist, I have my Hermes Click H bracelet here in the gold. And this color, I'll put it down below because I always forget this color. And lastly, y'all, for the bag of the day, y'all, this bag has been a game changer for me. I have been carrying it since I bought it, y'all. And I haven't changed into anything else, really. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm loving this so much. And it is that double zip from Louis Vuitton. And it's that reverse monogram one here. Y'all, y'all know I carry small bags. This has been perfect for me you guys i can't even tell you how perfect i'm loving it so much i love it has that inner pocket right here so like with me i here is my um keys i can stick my keys down in here and just have my fob dangling just like that or i could take my phone which is the flip is this the flip five i think so, I can take that and stick it down there in the middle, y'all. It's perfect, y'all. I love this bag, y'all. And I can't be happier. <laughs> so, this is what I've been rocking, y'all, for the longest. It just fits my lifestyle perfectly, you guys. So, definitely, I love that. Okay, you guys, so here we are. Let's get into this Sephora haul. I have all of my things right here, you guys. I have two bags to go through for you and a couple items that I got online. So, y'all, we're going to get right into it. So go get you some coffee, tea, water, wine, whatever you drink, you guys, because I have a feeling this one is going to be a long one. I'm going to try to go through it as fast as I can and not get into any details about anything. So go grab you something right now. I am starting this off with my little Sephora Beauty Insider mug that I got for free years ago. You know, you can get these type of things from Sephora along with this straw it came in a three pack so yeah they have these little perks that you can get online and in store I have tons of them so for those of you who are not aware Sephora has a sales event twice a year they have one in spring and one in fall so this one right now in spring is where I like to shop and re-up on my items the one in fall I purchase a lot more because I buy gift sets and things like that that they have for people along with things for myself if you are a Rouge member you can shop from April 5th which was last Friday until April 15th and with that you get your 20% off of everything in the store and with all of Sephora collection you get 30% off and that's across the board for everyone and then if you're a VIB member you get your 15% off and you're able to shop from April 9th to April 15th if you are an insider, you would get 10% off and you're able to shop from the same dates, which is April 9th to April 15th. Now, I am a Rouge member, 
So I was able to shop last Friday. If you saw a little clip, you saw me go into the store. I got all the things that I wanted to get in the store. Then the items that I wanted that was online only, I was on Sephora.com at midnight just checking out because they were already in my cart. So that's kind of how I prepare for it. So, so those are the details on the sale, you guys. So I'm going to get into my first bag here because again, if you can see, there's a lot of product here, you guys. You know, this is always up my alley. Makeup is something that I love. So, yeah, I do indulge quite a bit. So, first, let me just go over some things that I wanted to re-up on. One being my foundation. I was just opening the top of the one that I have on my vanity this morning as I was applying my makeup and you know tapping the rest of that out so first I re-upped on that and this has been one of my favorite foundations by House Labs you hear me talk about it all the time I love this foundation for shade reference I'm in 330 medium cool so I re-upped on that the next item I had to re-up on is my Super Goop Every Single Face Watery Lotion with the SPF 50 in it. I ran out of this, you guys. So, I definitely had to re-up on this. I'll open this one up and show you what it looks like. That is what it looks like right here, you guys. I use this on my face every single day whether i'm wearing makeup or whether i'm not wearing makeup it protects me against the sun you guys and for a lady of my age i'm on the fifth floor y'all you know you have those wrinkles you have those fine lines and with me what i have trouble with is aging spots so i protect myself against the sun from that so, you know, I have one like right up under my eye and then one over here on my cheek. So, I don't want any more of those, you guys. It runs in my family. So, I definitely wear that every day and I needed another one of those. Another one from Super Goop that I wanted to re-up on was their Bright Eye Eye Cream which is right here and this you guys i love it so much because it's a cream that goes under your eyes and it helps to keep brightness under your eye it comes in this pump style like this and y'all i love it it works wonders for my under eye area and so this one has spf 40 in it and y'all it all protects you from that sun and trust me you want that you guys even if you're young right now protect yourself against the sun because when you get older like me you don't want these problems you guys so definitely wanted to re-up on this one because it's so good and so next you guys i picked up an eyeshadow palette and i always pick up at least one during the sephora sale i think the past two years i did danessa myrick's palettes this year y'all it was patrick ta so i picked up his neutral palette now do i need another palette no but do i always get one yes yes it's the answer for that one <laughs> Don't ask me why, you guys. So, because all I'm going to tell you is the makeup addict in me. So, here is what that new Patrick Ta one looks like. And when I swatch this on my hand, y'all, I was impressed. That's why I picked it up because I have a couple of his other palettes. I love the blush one, but the other eye palettes that I have, the very first one the neutral one i didn't love it so much but this one y'all i love and i hope it's picking it up all for you guys because i do film in front of a window which gives me natural lighting but y'all swatching these oh my gosh it was beautiful you guys so and so the next item that i picked up 
that I was interested in was by a brand called K Skin. I've never tried this brand before and it's their pout protection duo. Now you know, your girl loves a good lip gloss, lip balm, lip mask, all of that. Anything pertaining to the lips, I love to have it. And I can't stop buying it. But anyway, I picked this duo set up and it has the lip balm in it. Also with a nourishing lip mask. And I'm excited to try this one out, you guys. And so you have the balm here and then you have the lip mask here. So I'm excited to try this one out, you guys. So I picked that up as well. And then this next item my daughter turned me on to, you guys. And I had to go get it. It's by Amico Lay and it's her foundation stick. Me and my daughter, we were FaceTiming each other. And she showed me a demo of this foundation stick, y'all. I had to get it. So I'm in the shade 330 here again for reference. If you're my tone, it comes like this right here. And my daughter was like, mom, this will be good with all that traveling that y'all do. This will be good to put in your makeup bag and you don't need nothing else, y'all. She didn't lie. When I was in the store and I was trying on which shade would fit me best, it felt perfect you guys so i'm so glad she told me about this one and y'all it's going in my makeup bag i feel like i want to go back and get another one as a backup so i'll have this one to put on my vanity and then i'll have this one to throw in my makeup bag y'all is good good go get you one this one was amazing just trying it out in the store and the coverage and everything is beautiful so i say go get you one of these i'm so glad my daughter put me on to that one y'all because i absolutely love it another item she's a bad influence on me too because she's a makeup girly like me that's actually her profession she's a cosmetologist so anyway um <laughs> She also put me on this House Labs blush by Lady Gaga, and it's called Fire Moon. There you are right there. Looks like this. I love a good coral shade. So this is like a coral mixed with a brown. So here is what it looks like. Let me just open this up and show you. Y'all, this looks so 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 beautiful y'all and when my daughter showed me this on her cheeks perfection i was like i gotta have it i gotta have it i also got another blush by giorgio armani and i got this one in shade 30 offbeat there's what that looks like right there and there you are right there it's a beautiful coral shade so I'm also excited to try this out. So next I picked up this single eyeshadow from Merit Beauty. It looks like this, you guys. It comes in a pot like this. And there is the shade right there, which is Viper. Right here you see it's a cream army green shade. You guys know green is my color. So yeah, I picked this up and I can't wait to try this one out you guys. And then from the Sephora collection, I picked up two liners. One in this army green and one in this forest green. So you know all the Sephora stuff was that 30% off for everyone. So... Here is that forest green right there. And then here is that army green right there. So, so pretty. So I picked up both of those, you guys. And so excited to be using those. You'll definitely be seeing them in upcoming housekeepings. Now the rest of this bag is filled with lip products. I know, I'm so addicted. So the first lip product I got is by Jisoo, which I have their honey oil. But when I seen this new one come out with this frosty like pink 
shade i definitely wanted to pick it up they have others you guys but this one stood out to me so here is that new one right there and what it looks like and y'all that's what the applicator looks like and it's just this gorgeous sparkly pink shade here next y'all I picked up from Cali Ray the Big Swell Hydrating Glassy Lip Plumper. So this is a plumper, you guys. But the color, I think this is that shimmery one too. Yes, that got me. I got a lot of shimmers this time, you guys, because... <laughs> I was just loving it, y'all. So this is the one from Cali Ray. That's what the applicator looks like. It has that iridescence to it, you guys. I definitely wanted to try this out, so I picked that one up. There's another one like it. How many ones do you need? So I got one from Tower 28 as well. And this one is in the shade Magic, y'all. Another one. That's that glittery shade. Y'all. I know. I know. I'm asking myself now. Girl, why you need all these? Then I got another one from Tower 28. This one is in Watermelon Kiwi. So this is the actual balm. So it's one of those little push tubes and that's the balm that I picked up from Tower 28. Next I picked up another lip oil from Milk Makeup and this is the Crush Lip Oil. And I got it in Green Dragon and here is what that lip oil looks like here. So, I do love a lip oil, so I'm excited to give that one a try as well. And then, I got two more lippies, y'all. <laughs> this one is one of my favorites from YSL, and it's the Candy Glaze. I've mentioned these before. I got another color. It's in the color 15, Showcasing Nude. So, here's what that looks like. There's the container, and it's just a beautiful nude. If you have tried the candy glazes, you know they go on so nice. Looks like a gloss, y'all. Another item I picked up that I love so much that goes on the lips is the Dior Attic Lip Maximizers. I've showed you so many, and yes, your girl did pick up another one in the shade 030 Shimmery Rose. When I went past the Dior section, I saw this one and I was like, mm, let me get 20% off. I typically shop Dior.com Beauty, but since they were offering 20% off in Sephora, I picked this shade up. And y'all, I have to say, I love this pink shimmery shade. Y'all, look at that. Can y'all see that? It is gorgeous. And I love that these gives you like that plumping effect. And they're just gorgeous, y'all. I love it. So that was the last lip item, you guys. And that was all of everything that I got that was makeup related, re-up and makeup related right there. Y'all. I got to take a sip because it's too much, y'all. It's too much. I got these Amika hair samples in my bag. And I love when they give me these samples because I do use this product on my hair. Love, love, love it. Okay, so let's get into this second bag, you guys. It's all like skincare stuff, fragrance related stuff. Because you know, again, once again, I love to smell good. So... Although I have enough perfumes to last me a lifetime, I still continue to buy them, you guys. But first, I did re-up on my hand sanitizer because I saw this new one from Touchland called Lily of the Valley. 
the name right there sold it y'all so i picked this one up right here and i can't wait to use it then i went over to Sol de janeiro and i purchased the new body butter and delicia drenched so i got the little small one here for traveling so i tend to buy these and the fenty ones for traveling in this size so i wish they had like an in-between size so it's either like this travel size or the really really big one so i would love if they would carry this in like the fenty size or a little larger i love these for traveling so this one was light the only one that i don't do is the original because that original one is too overpowering for me and so i have the pink one i have the coral like one now i have this one here so i added that that's gonna go in my travel bag then let's talk about fragrances and so for fragrances y'all i definitely have to always go into store for because i tried them out before i buy them i know you can buy them online and return them if you don't like them but i like to go in the store and try them out and see if it's worth me taking home or not so y'all i have quite a few the first one i went in there for was the new valentino because you know i have the valentino fragrances i love them i have the born in roma original i have the pink one i have so many of them you guys this green one came out and so i definitely wanted to give it a try so first i started off with getting the travel spray and when i sprayed this on my hand in the store i initially got the travel spray and said i'll put it in my travel bag and see how it works out y'all i had to do a whole circle and come back to the store and get the full size because by the time this thing developed on me i was like <laughs> i gotta have it so i did so here is the travel one let me show you what that looks like it's cute it's green it can go in your purse it's so so cute so got that one so it does have the born in roma scent to this one but it's a little added touch like a sparkliness to it oh my gosh y'all it's so good so i actually had to turn around go back into the store again and get the larger size y'all yes it is so so good y'all so i have the travel spray to take with me in my handbag traveling and then i have the full size bottle too to add to my collection y'all it's good it's worth trying out if you're in the store give it a few minutes and i guarantee you you'll say oh yeah this is nice this is really nice so got those two now these last few items you guys i had heard a lot about just hadn't been into a sephora and i said you know when i get to it i'll get into a sephora and start playing around with them and see you know what becomes of this for me this next one again was another turnaround because i actually left and then it took like this thing two hours to like develop on me for me to really smell anything and yeah so the fragrance i'm talking about you guys it's the missing person now the sales associate in sephora she started laughing at me because i kept spraying this thing and spraying this thing and spraying this thing y'all i even sprayed it on my jacket and i didn't smell a thing and the lady laughed at me because I was like, they got the right name for this because it's definitely missing on me. I don't know if anybody else has gone through that, but I was like, I don't understand, you know, what they're talking about on this fragrance because it is definitely missing. 
it is missing for me so i initially picked up another one that i liked more and i'll get into that one next but i originally left the store and then y'all in about an hour after walking around i started moving my arm and i was like is that that fragrance is that it and i was like oh my gosh i'm starting to smell it by the hour two y'all when i was back home it's finally starting to smell on me it was definitely a skin scent so this is definitely a skin scent for me you guys and I thought I'm gonna pick it up because I think this will be nice to wear at bedtime because I love to smell good during the night as well as the day so I thought this would be light and you got to be right up on me to smell it y'all so I end up picking it up here it is right here. Now, initially online, before even going into the store and smelling it, I had purchased the body lotion because I thought it would be good for layering. And then when I got in the store and was spraying it and was not smelling nothing, I was like, hmm. Now I can keep the body lotion because the body lotion you can just use, but I don't know if I want this fragrance. So I end up again purchasing another one, but I had already purchased the body lotion because it was only available online. So now these two, I'm going to put in my bathroom because I know they'll be good as a good night scent. I mean, and a day scent too, if you want something light, but yeah, I picked these two up from Fleur. And so the last two fragrances I picked up also are from Fleur. And these ones I was in the store and I was playing around with and I was like, oh yeah, I like that. I like that. So the first one I first liked instead of the missing person, because again, in the store, I didn't smell that one right away on me, was this one called Not Your Baby. And with this one, I was very surprised because when I read the notes on this online, it was saying that it had a powdery scent and I'm not big on powdery scents. And hence the name baby. I was like, oh yeah, that's not going to smell good. But when I got in the store, I was pleasantly surprised because it has this violet note in it and there was this vanilla. But when I smelled it, I was like, okay, you can smell a hint of the powdery note, but it's not that powdery. That vanilla, y'all know I love vanilla, was just taking over. So I end up getting this Not Your Baby as well. But y'all, again, I was playing around in the store for an hour with these fragrances. But the one that caught my eye the most, you guys, is the one called Tangerine Boy y'all so i just could not leave without tangerine boy because i love mandarin i love a tangerine scent and y'all this was giving me all of that so i picked up tangerine boy and the last item that i picked up that i was layering i told y'all i was playing in a store with these for an hour and so the last item that i was playing around and mixing these with in the store y'all was another one of my favorite scents i talk about is vanilla and this was their vanilla skin so i mixed these with all three of the fragrances that i bought y'all and it smelled so good so these remind me of like joe malone you can just layer and layer and layer and layer you know and wear it like that and one of these i think it was missing person kind of remind me of the molecules or one as well if you're familiar with that but y'all i got the vanilla skin as well and let me tell you these two together the vanilla scent and the tangerine boy smells like a dream sickle you guys but I think it will be fun just to mix and play with these. So just having all of these along with that body lotion, you guys, I'm so excited for. So y'all, that's what I picked up from Sephora.
comment down below if you've started shopping a sale or if you haven't and you intend on shopping a sale what are you putting in your cart comment down below some of your favorites i love to hear from you um I'm kind of scared though because you know if you start telling me your favorites then I might want to go check that out and child I don't need to buy nothing else from Sephora I've done enough already so yeah you guys that is it I hope you guys enjoyed that as always thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys